So we just got this new 99 overall Luis Robert Jr. card in the game. 2023 Gold Glove Award Series card. And it's always a treat. We never really expect to see White Sox 99 overalls at this point. But sure, give them to me. And he looks solid, especially when you factor in the White Sox boost if we're throwing him on the theme team. Because the one bad thing is the contact against righties. But that'll come up with the boost. He's great in the field, obviously. 90 speed. The clutch also comes up up that's another weak spot there's only one thing wrong with this card he did not win a gold glove award in 2023 i don't really know i don't really understand how this mistake was made but uh he won the silver slugger award in 2023 didn't win the gold glove award but here we go a made up gold glove series luis robert jr hey if that gets him feeling like this though i'm not gonna complain if we look at the the luis robert boost here i mean i guess of course the contact against righties and clutch that's like the two things we care most about with the boost and they get cut off but you can kind of tell it says 99 clutch 102 contact versus righties so that's the weight that the boost pulls bringing those attributes up to a better spot but yeah we're throwing him on the white Sox theme team today we also got the uh supercharged andrew benintendi from hitting his walk-off home run recently so yeah last time on stream i uh went back and debuted the season two white Sox cards that i missed out on the only two that i didn't quite get to was this gold tim anderson and then the 88 overall jonathan cannon so i'm also using them today but other than that for a white Sox team in 2024 this kind of doesn't seem that bad, honestly. I'm uh, I'm at a 631 rating, so we're still working our way up. We're probably going to be on all-star difficulty today, which kind of is good for Luis Robert Jr., especially if we're playing against a righty. All right, so we got to go up against Shohei, actually, on the mound. This dude's team doesn't look that crazy, but it is a righty we got to face when Luis Robert's a little bit worse against righties. And what's this guy's record, then? 28 and 23? I mean... <laughs> That should mean good things. I don't want to get ahead of myself. All right, here we go. Tim Anderson also making his debut today. We got to put a spotlight on him, even if he is only a gold. And I don't think I got enough of that. That felt like a good swing, but not at that part of the field and not with Tim Anderson. But here we go. Here's the main event. The brand new 99 overall Luis Robert Jr. My first at bat with him. Let's see what we can do. I feel like I don't, yeah, I didn't want to swing at the first pitch. I'm glad it was a ball. And then I get a, f <laughs> and, mm, okay, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we get those same pitches in a second at bat, because, wow. All right, well, Grandal gets put on for free, so at least now we have some blazing speed out there. Is that going to drop in? Oh my god, what are we doing? Well, this is where the blazing speed from Grandal comes in handy. I think he's going to score from first. It's not even going to be close. It's not even a play. You know, this Benintendi is actually a really nice card today, too. Look at that. 125 clutch, 125 power. And, well, he didn't really use the power there, but uh, keeps the inning going. There we go. That's going to drive in this other run. We're kind of uh, we're kind of singling this guy to death here. I mean, I know that Frank one is not going to count as a single, but it, it should have been. Man, I see it's pitches like that. I haven't played yet today. This is my first time hopping on the game today. So those are the kind of pitches you miss. Ah, and I couldn't catch up to the heat. But you know what? Two runs in the first, that's a solid start. Ooh, look at this sinker. Look at how much this breaks from Cannon. I don't know if I've ever seen a sinker with that much break on it. Wow. Hang on here. Let's pick up this punch out. There we go. There we go, though. It's the circle change that gets him. And Corey Lee playing third base today, getting the job done. Look at the Cannon getting it over there for Cannon on the mound. I want someone like Corey Lee to do something. And, well, and then I just do that instead. I don't think that one's going to get down either. I was close. That might be the closest I've came to actually making a decent swing on that slurf. Oh, I didn't hit that. Dude, I don't know what is going on on those hanging slurfs. Why, why is that his best pitch against me right now? There we go. All right. Another strikeout for Cannon. Ooh, all right, that was a perfect swing. You know what? I don't think this game is going to be as easy as I initially thought it was. He's not doing great pitching. I think it's more me doing bad. But at the plate, you can tell he, he has something there. Like, not many people take that pitch. Seems like he's having trouble with that. I'm going to go right back to it. 
There we go. Yeah, if we get that sinker up and in on the hands, he's not catching up to it. And that should end this inning as long as we get it there, Jolks. All right, couple of shutout innings so far for Cannon. Let's see if Robert can hit this time around, second time through. And that's a, that's a hot start, missing another pitch right down the middle. No! <sighs> Am I pressing too hard, especially with him at the plate? Am I trying too hard? Dude, I don't, I don't understand. I, I hit him fine in the first inning. And I can't figure him out anymore. What is this? There we go. That should be three shutout innings now for Jonathan Cannon. Maybe the fourth is when I figure the hitting back out. I don't even know what to say, man. Come on. I, I can't hit anything anymore. He almost messed that up. Wow. I, I might have needed something like that to go my way. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what it's going to take for me to get my eye going here. I want to say it's just going to take me a little bit of time, but I feel like I'm not even making progress. There we go. Finally hit a spot. He definitely was a bit more patient that inning. Maybe he was starting to see Cannon a little bit better. Like, that's an off-speed pitch. Right down the middle. There's no reason to be late on it. And then I'm taking that. When am I going to figure this out again? That, that might have been my best swing since the first inning. Nope, that's actually another decent swing. It's going to be right to him. At least I made a little bit of progress that inning. A couple of decent swings. Maybe to lead off with Luis Robert next inning, we'll, we'll finally get something going again. I mean, when was my last hit? Oh, yep, I told you. I knew... It was only a matter of time before this guy did something. I just, I, I had the feeling that he was dialing it in this whole time. His eyes been getting better, and there it is. Oh my, wait. No, Tim didn't get there. I didn't think he would need to dive. I thought he was just going to get there. Well, uh-oh. We don't have an out yet in this fifth inning. I should get the bullpen loose just in case at this point. What have I not been throwing much? I feel like I need to give him a different look. Can we get this circle change placed? Oh, perfect spot. There we go. Good bounce back. Shut it down. You got to ring him up on that. You, no game. No. Do you let Cannon work his way out of this, though, or do you take him out now? I, I got to let him try. And he might have done it. No, he didn't. 86 speeds way too fast with where that was hit. I don't know. You would, you would know better than me. And... Now we're down big. I mean, Jonathan Cannon had a great four innings. So uh, let's just, let's remember that. Let's remember the good times. You know what? I really, th th we should not be worried about this right now. With how many pitches that he has left right over the middle of the plate so far in this game, I should not have trouble making this comeback. If he's going to keep pitching like that, we're going to make this comeback, guys. And it's going to start right now with Luis Robert Jr. up at the plate. That's a brutal way to start. And that's even worse. And he went back to it. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I out guessing myself? I didn't think he was going to go back to the fastball, but obviously. I don't know, guys. Shohei sometimes is one of those players in this game that I just, I just all of a sudden can't hit. Like, I think all it is, is I am not picking up the ball out of his hand. I've, I've struck out looking on the fastball so many times. And I think that's the sign that you just, you can't pick up his release point. And that's, that's not even going to get down for us. I don't even remember when my last hit was. There is a chance I haven't gotten a hit since the first inning. There we go. Let's at least get it back going on the mound. That's what we can control. The last thing I want to be doing is putting this guy on for free. We're going to get there. We got a good reaction on that. I still, the more we get into this game, the less I believe that this guy's record is truly what it says it was. Either the game is lying to me or he's on a, a second account and he decided to quit out of 20 games in a row when he got the new account just to make his record look worse. Okay, come on, man. We got him to two strikes and now he's being patient. There we go. Be patient on that one. See, there was so much right about that swing, except for the just late. If we're around on that, that would have that would have gotten us going. Okay, 
We didn't even need to be around on that one. I think Mason Miller did all the work there, throwing that 103. Finally, back on the board once again. Maybe that'll get us going. I waited back too far. Why? I feel like I've been doing that a lot lately. I get these off-speed pitches that I recognize, and then I wait back on them too far. I will admit, I'm a little apprehensive bringing in a Liam Hendricks. I feel like he's not the toughest guy in the world to pick up. There we go, though. If he's going to spot his fastballs like that, we'll be in good shape. Oh, you got to ring him up, though. How many check swings are they going to give him today? Okay, there we go. I kind of felt like all I needed to do at that point was get it in the zone. That play's got to be made, Jolks. Okay. You know what? I'm just, I'm not going to change it up. We're going to go right back. Fastball away. And we got him again. Okay. Great inning from Liam Hendricks. We're, we're keeping it where it's at. We're chipping away. If we put up one run for the rest of this game, we tie it up by the ninth. Or I guess one run in inning is what I should have said. That was a nice swing. Nine hole hitter bronze Corey Jolks getting us going here in the top of the eighth. Gotta capitalize on that. We got Tim Anderson leading it or do up next, and then uh then Luis Robert Jr. If we can get Tim Anderson on, Luis Robert has a chance to come up to take the lead. Gotta be ready for that sinker. He definitely has a hard sinker. It's not gonna be outlier though, since it's his third pitch. And I still am behind it. That is a just phenomenal job there at the plate, TA really capitalizing on the momentum all right it's robert time oh for three on the day i've done absolutely nothing with him in his debut but there is no better time to do something uh okay i mean it's <laughs> it's definitely something whatever that was it's something oh i need to put a better swing on that i had such the right idea and i just moved the pci too far down frank man you gotta do it We got one more chance. One more chance with the bottom half of the order coming up. The uh, the deck is not stacked in our favor. And with all the righties due up, I guess I'm sticking with Liam. That's a good start, though. Okay, he waited back, which I didn't want, but uh, it got us an out. And... <laughs> Just when I think I'm going to be able to send this one to the ninth with the same deficit, he puts one more on. That was a very good swing, because look at where that pitch was. That is not a missed spot at all. Wow. Sit up in my chair. No, Dylan, that's you got it wrong. That's the opposite. You got to get into a... Uh, get into gamer posture here lean forward as far possible as i can we need three runs it can happen it, it can it's just it's gonna take something we got 99 overall benintendi right now he's got to get it started i don't care who he's bringing in go to the lefty honestly yeah 87 lefty benintendi can handle it and then we got two righties due up next <sighs> so wait Oh my god, it's off It's off his head? I probably could have made it to third. I thought that was going to get caught. I, I had no idea that that was going to carry like that. Okay. He's got to throw something outside at some point. Just don't know if I want to sit on it. Oh, there it was. <laughs> I was very close, man. That was almost a great swing going the other way. We got seven, eight, nine with three runs still needed. My god, I keep pulling it just a little bit foul something stay fair that's not what i mean i still want to get around on it oh it's down to the eight and nine hitters it's down to the two corys do i have any better options on the bench i mean it's it's only the live series guys so probably not i, I guess technically vaughn i don't know i guess with two outs we'd still have to deal with Corey jolks up next but there won't be an up next if we don't do something here yeah i'm gonna go vaughn i we we got we got to bring in a new guy with as much better attributes as possible here come on vaughn it's all down to you and once again i mean there is not a more fitting way to end the game than by not getting around on a pitch that i should be getting around on that was terrible i am sorry for what you guys just had to witness